Hi folks, Don Bailey from Suburban Tool. We're here to show you some tips and tricks that we've learned throughout the years and we're going to share them with you in a number of videos. We're going to show you probably a dozen different videos where we can make you more efficient and have some fun doing it. So let's get started. Let's go up and back. So now it's time to show you the difference between the two side plates. The Excello and the Suburban. This is the Excello and the Suburban. So we'll start with the Suburban uh, product first. The Suburban product, this model number is a compound sign plate. It's a 66, uh, SP66 compound. And I, the reason we call it a 66, for those of you that don't know that, is because the center distance between the two rolls happens to be six inches, which is right here. This is right here. This is a shipping pad. We're going to remove that. We're going to go here to the other side. And we're going to remove the other shipping pad. Again, with it making sure that there's no dirt anywhere. We'll make sure we have a good clean surface. And we'll talk about why the Suburban Tool product happens to be, in our view, one of the best values for the money. The rails, which is what we call, some people call them stops, we call it rails, here and here, are retractable. So you can put them in a storage position by loosening two screws and dropping it down. And you can see that it stores below the surface. Our engineers were pretty smart thinking about that, so you don't have to take them off. The other thing that we find that was important to us or to our engineers, and by the way, our engineers are all tool and die guys, so as, as I am, so we know the importance of uh, features to save you money. This is the locking strap on this side. And you can lock it in any position once you put your gauge box underneath it. And you'll notice that the locking strap, can you get a close up there, Glenn? The locking strap does not protrude above the surface, so it doesn't interfere with anything. And you can see it here in a better view. So if I raise this other side up, or put it in the down position, it doesn't make any difference. It still does not protrude above the surface. It has a patented arc that we uh, put into this uh, locking strap. And another feature that we like about it is that it has a series of tapped holes which will allow you to position a number of products on there, including many of the Suburbans. It's designed in such a way that our sign set products, which are the vices, the V-blocks, etc., will all bolt right on here and they'll register up against at least one rail. The, there are four counterboard screws right here, two here, and two here, which will allow you to take one of our magnetic chucks and mold it on here. Now you have a magnetic sign plate. Pretty cool, right? So that's kind of the, the wrap up of the Suburban uh, uh, product. It's recommended for inspection, as in the inspection room. It's really what we call a medium duty. It is also used for grinding, for surface grinding, and it can be used for uh, drilling, etc. But we don't recommend it for any kind of heavy duty milling, but we have an answer for that. The answer for that is the Excello product. Now, when we bought this company, we didn't change a thing. We bought the blueprints, we bought the castings, the patterns, etc. We kept it all the same. To this date, we still make it identical to what Robbins did. A couple of the features that are important and what makes a difference between the two is these, the plates on this are cast, and they're cast steel. So there's a, there was an opportunity there to have some pretty good structure without spending a lot of money on, on machining. The other important thing is the locking straps. You'll notice that the Suburban has a strap here, and the Excello does not have a locking strap. Instead, it uses the hinges themselves to lock so it puts pressure in the downward position. So when you're locking the mechanism so it doesn't move, and I'll show you what, what, that, what I mean by that in a moment, is that it puts pressure towards the gauge block or the work surface, which is right here. So your gauge blocks go under here. And if you put gauge blocks in there, we got a gauge block around here somewhere. Yeah, thank you, Jim. We got a one-inch block here. Now we're going to stick it under the pad. There's another difference here. You'll notice that 
there's a precision pad here that's lapped and a precision surface here. So again, the importance of cleanliness, we're going to slide that on. We're going to slide it back and forth a little bit to make sure we get it into the right position. And now we can lock it down. And the way we lock it, I think I should take this apart and show you what it looks like. You see that pretty, pretty good there, Glenn? Mm -hmm. You notice that there's a taper on this bushing, and there's a female taper the same way inside the hinge roller. So the way this was designed is when you lock it, it expands the, the uh, gauge roll, and it locks it into the housing. Now you might say, well, when you do this one, on this side, it's going to go the other way, right? Wrong. This is a left-hand thread. So it, too, will put pressure going forward, which helps to secure the gauge block and makes it good and tight. For this reason, this is a sign plate that we recommend for heavy-duty machining, uh, as well as for grinding and inspection. The tolerances are the same as suburban tools. This is a much more complicated uh, piece of equipment. and. Uh, it has features here that Suburban doesn't have, but it also, Suburban has some features this doesn't have. As an example, the, the rails, or the stops as we call them, well, they'll drop down, they don't go into a fully stored position. You can see that it sticks up a little bit. So, oops, lunchtime, where's my sandwich? Okay, folks, so the difference between the two sign plates basically is that the locking mechanism between the Suburban product, which is our SPC66, or sign plate compound 6x6, is the locking mechanism. As you can see, we use a locking strap here, which is a, a less costly way to do it. Whereas on the Accelo Robins, we use the hinge mechanism to lock it down, which is an expanding arbor, which is much more costly. Struck. So the idea of this is that, again, left-hand thread, right-hand thread, so when you tighten these down, it expands the arbor, locks the sign plate into position, then it puts forward pressure down on the gauge block, which gives it the kind of security that you need for a high degree of accuracy while you're machining. You're going to get the same accuracy here, folks, but the difference there is that this is not intended to be used on a milling machine where this is. This can be used on a milling machine and anything else, and you still have a high degree of accuracy. So, so I ran out in the shop and picked up a couple of sign plates that uh, our sign crew has been working on. This is our Tap Pierce model, as we were showing you earlier. We didn't have any in the, in the finished goods department, so I yanked a couple out. I wanted to show you what they look like. They're still in process, they're not quite finished yet. What we're, what's missing on it is all the, uh, uh, the details. The edges have to be chamfered, and the, rails have to be put on but I just want to give you an idea of what they look like they have the same features as we mentioned earlier with a locking hinge so you can lift it up and again you can lock it we have the uh, the same features of uh, tolerances as far as being square parallel flat all within two tenths beautiful product green is good and you'll notice that every product that we make comes with a guarantee that it's going to be exactly as we described it. The talents is going to be the same. If you ever have a problem with it, you send it back to us, we'll take care of it. Can't imagine, but things happen in shipping. Who knows? Anyway. Well, folks, what'd you think of that? Uh, that's just one of many that we're going to be showing you throughout the months, the coming months. And uh, we know that it's going to have an impact on you because it certainly has had an impact on us. So, again, from Suburban Tool, Don Bailey, and thanks for watching.